So before I go, boys, I'd like to once again thank Rabbi Steigenfeld for inviting me to your yeshiva as this week's guest Rebbe. And to sum up our lesson by saying, that showing respect to one's grandparents is not only enjoyable, but it fulfills the mitzvah of honoring the elderly. And it also is a direct extension of honoring one's parents. It brings our parents joy and nachas, which is kibud av v'aim. <laughs> yes, Avrami? You say it's enjoyable when grandparents come, but, well... What if I don't really like when they come? <gasps> all right, oh, all right, settle down, everyone. Avrami, I'm glad you felt comfortable expressing your true feeling. I'm sure you're not the only one in the world who feels this way. I think we should talk about this some more after recess. You know, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano, or, or, or bill to boy, so to speak. <laughs> Meanwhile, perhaps your friends here can help you by describing their own experiences with grandparents visiting. What do you say, boys? Sure. Oh, give And don't look slobby We serve them tea so thirst they'll quench Yay, Zadie Bobby They take us out on family trips Cause tokens at Arcady Proudly give our face a clip Yay, Bobby Zadie My Bobby teaches me and I sew When pots to wash and scrubby My Zadie shows me tricks that he knows Yay, Zadie Bobby True, you see, when grandparents come, you need not be afraid -y. Yes, it can be lots of fun to welcome Bubby Zadie. Respecting them's a mitzvah to their older men and ladies. You're being mechabit your parents too. Yay, Bobby Zadie! If I could just finish up these last few capitals, I'll get to the game right on time. Poof! <clears throat> would probably help if Eliza would stop crying. Isn't anyone going to get the phone? Oh, never mind. I guess I will. Hello? Oh, if it isn't my favorite grandson, Avramele! Oh, hi, Zadie. So, Avramele, how's yeshiva going? Tell me about everything that you're learning. <laughs> you know. When I was a little boy... Did you tell him the surprise yet? She was going great, Zadie. I'm trying to finish my homework so I can go out to play with my friends now. Avramale, Bobby and I have a surprise for you. Are you ready? Bobby and I are coming for a visit. Aren't you excited? I know you are. Tell me all about it. Zadie, sure I am. I'm just in a bit of a rush now. What? What? I, I can't hear you. Speak a little louder, a rush, Avramale. A rush! I'm in a rush! A rush? Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let me tell you a story about one time when I was in a rush. <laughs> Avramale. Bobby and I have a surprise for you. We're coming to visit. What's that, Avrami? You're mumbling, Yingala. I can't hear you. So, Avrami, 
What are you learning these days in yeshiva? Come, tell me over the Gemara so I can give you a little knip. Avrami, remember, no playing loud music when Bubby and Zadie are here. They can't handle loud noises. Did I ever tell you the story of what happened to me a long, long time ago? Somewhere far, far away you never heard of? Too many stories. I'm so glad you called me, Avrami. I could tell you were concerned yesterday in class, and I'm hoping I can help. So what is it exactly that's troubling you? Well, I just found out that my grandparents are coming to visit next week. Oh, Givaldig! That's just wonderful! That's just it, Fiveish. You and everyone else seem to think that should be super exciting, but to me, it's really not. I mean, there's so much going on, so much to do at home and school, and I barely have time for it all as it is. How am I supposed to do everything anyway? Okay, hold on there, partner. Whoa, whoa. Could it be that you are taking this grandparent visit and chalentifying it? Chalentifying? Yes, chalentifying. That is when we make a chalent out of something by taking one ingredient, then adding a little bit of this and a little bit of that until it's all one big brown gooey mixture and we can't even tell what it is anymore. It seems to me your grandparents coming is causing you some apprehensionation, to be sure. And we'll get to that. However, you are now throwing in some other issues that perhaps can be separated from the mix. Hmm, you're right. Maybe I am doing that. Oh, not maybe. It's clear to me, now that we're getting into the kishkas of this topic, the real meat and potatoes of your issue is the fact that the brown cholent goo is connectifying all of your different challenges and congealing them to one gooey mass. You see, each ingredient on its own can be separated and identified. However, once they are combined in the crock pot, well, it all becomes one gooey, chewy, ewy. Let me explain. Just the Mixing of issues make cholentifying goo, cholentifying goo, cholentifying you. When you mix all your issues, it's like barley, beans, and meat cooked into a gooey treat. Once the gooness has settled in, you cannot separate. Not on your bowl or plate, no, not in this gooey state. Yes, each food like it's a show as collectified as one. How to isolate once you've begun. Uh -huh. So my meat and my kishka and my barley and my beans. Your barley and your beans. His barley and his beans. They must not go together, I must not let them congeal. Unless you're making cholent for real. Just a mixing of issues makes cholentifying goo, cholentifying goo, cholentifying you. They must not go together, I must not let them congeal. Cholentifying goo, I must not let them congeal. Unless you're making cholent for real.
So there's a lot going on at home, huh? You have many responsibilities? I sure do, Fiveish. I was helping with the household chores and watching my baby brother oh, I see, I and see. finishing all my oh. homework on time mm-hmm. and my learning uh-huh. Rebbe and my drums lessons. Mm-hmm. Wow, Avrami, I see what you mean. That is a lot of responsibility for one young man. Your parents must think very highly of you and trust your skills tremendously to give you these important household and family tasks. They also must love you very much and want you to be successful in your learning and perfect your talents. How do you know that? Well, you mentioned they hire you a learning Rebbe and a music teacher. That is, that is so wonderful. You are certainly fortunate to be part of such a lovely family who has so much going on and parents who care very so much about your developmental aiding, your developmental nation, uh, development. Guess I never thought of it that way. Okay, Tzadikal. Perhaps now that we've taken your busy schedule and other worries out of the chullant, so to speak, we can go through the specific issues surrounding your grandparents one by one. But I don't want to seem like a kvetch or anything. Of course not, Avrami. You can be honest. Like I said, I'm sure you're not the only young person to have these fears and apprehensions. It's only natural. Why don't we make a list? I want to hear each and every reason why you're not excited for this visit. And let's see if we can find a way to look at things a little differently. Shall we? Well, here's one example. Whenever Bubby and Zadie are here, we have to make all their special diet foods. Yuck! I can understand that eating those foods may not be super geschmack. However, learning to prepare different kinds of recipes is a valuable skill. You know what they say, give a boy a meal and you fed him for a day. Teach a boy to cook and you fed his grandparents for a lifetime. But, 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 hey, speaking of fish, uh, uh, I think we've got something here. Oh, yes, yes, Uh, you may be able to practice your cooking skills on this tonight. (laughs) Or maybe not. Anyhow, where were we? Ah, yes. Things you find challenging about the upcoming visit, huh? Okay, keep going. Well, how about the way they pinch my cheeks and tussle my hair and tell me the same jokes over and over and over? Oh, 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 yes. Same jokes over and over. That can be exasperating, to be sure. However, I give you the following bracha. May the nachas you give them by perfecting the art of being a good audience sustain you through the trying jokes that lie ahead. And speaking of trying jokes, why didn't Noach play cards on the teva? Uh, I don't know, Fivish. Why didn't Noach play cards on the teva? Because he was sitting on the deck. <laughs> the deck. That one's a real knee slapper, don't you think, I'm Rummy? <laughs> Maybe your Zadie knows that one, huh? <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry, force of habit. <laughs> you, you, you see how we can always try to see a way to flip each situation around to the positive if we try? You see, Avrami, when we start to feel sorry for ourselves, we have negative thoughts and feelings but they can often be turned around and seen in a positive light. The thing is that we have to be willing to look for the positive. That's the secret to living a happy life. I guess so, but there are so many more things, Fivish. That's what I'm here for, Avrami. Let's keep going. And make everything shine My huge Lego creations Will have to be demolished 
To make more room for them, I must give up what's mine. While digging in the cushions, you may find lost treasures. You never know what's coming. Be open to surprise! You'll build a brand new masterpiece that will give you pleasure. Sharing what you have is indeed the greatest prize. My grandparents, when they come to town. Your grandparents, it all turns upside down. So uptight! My grandparents, everything will change. Your grandparents, it all gets rearranged. Our and grandparents, grandparents, you love them. Yes, I do. I want to grow. That love you'll show, come on, it's up to you. They don't have such good hearing. I have to speak up loudly. Look me in the eye and please project your voice. So you'll learn public speaking then soon at the beam up proudly. You'll give bar mitzvah pshato. We'll hear you and rejoice. Sometimes while they're resting, I have to be so quiet. They talk about the old days as tears well in their eyes. Developing an inside voice is great. You want to try it. Connecting to our past helps us grow up to be wise. My grandparents, when they come to town, be your grandparents. Bring a smile, not a frown. Our, Our grandparents, grandparents, and I know I should. Just help them out, cause it's about looking for the good. My grandparents, my attitude will change. Oh, your grandparents, it all gets rearranged. Our, Our grandparents, grandparents, we love them, them, yes we do. We, we want, want to grow, grow. the love, love will show, now we, we know what to do. When we go out together, they always go so slow. I have to wait forever till they get up the stairs. They never tell you, hurry up, you have somewhere to go. It's kind of nice that they don't rush. Patience shows you care. What will my friends think of Bobby's pocketbook with flowers? Mercedes heavy accent and the way he says my name. Individuality is what's uniquely ours. How boring would the world be if we were all the same? My grandparents, yes, they'll come to town. Your grandparents, I smile, I don't frown. Our grandparents, we can clearly see how great they are, the best by far, so perfect just for me. My grandparents, my attitude has changed. Your grandparents, your mood's been rearranged. Our grandparents, we love them, yes we do. We want, we want to grow, the love will show, now we know what to do. We want to grow, the love will show, now we know what to do. Bobby Zadie, we love you. That really helped me, Five-ish. I guess the only thing I'm still a little worried about is what the other kids might think. I mean... My grandparents are so different than some of the other kids, Bubbies and Zadies. The way they look and speak. True indeed. But remember, that's what makes them special. You know, Avrami, there are all kinds of people in the world from all kinds of different places. Which means there are all different grandparents of kind as well. There's a Saba and Safta. An Oma and Opa. A Mama, a Papi, Babika from Europa. A Zadie or Bobby from far off in Australia. Stories of Jewish life down under is what they regalia. Some may look out of towny and some borrow parky. Some have just started learning and some super stalky. But no matter their background or name that they're called, you, their grandchild, is who they love far above all. Thank you, Five-ish. I think I'm starting to realize that having grandparents is a really special gift.
trouble when grandparents come, but, well, what if I don't really like when they come? Unless you're making cards for it. Bobby and I have a surprise for you. We're coming to visit. So let's, let, let me tell you a story of how I met Five Ish. So actually, it was pretty interesting. Okay. I didn't really accept who he was. But... Alright, one more time. I ever tell you the story of what happened to me a long, long time ago? Oh, so <laughs> nice! And now you can hang on your clothes in here. Oh, remember, that's wonderful. Of Rummy, remember, no playing loud music when Bubby and Zadie are here. They can't handle loud noises. Look, there's five fish! 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 Now, uh, one second. Hello. One more time, everybody wave. Hello. Hi. Fish. I'm going to sing French. Bon année, bon année, bon temps, I'm Israel Chai, and I'm Yam. Go, go. Hey. Wow. <laughs> arise, arise, I'll eat, arise. Yay. 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 While digging in the cushions, you may find lost treasures. You never know what's coming. That was great. Let's do that one more time. They never tell you hurry up, you have somewhere to go. It's kinda nice that they don't patience shows you care. Excellent. You'll build a brand new masterpiece that will give you pleasure. You'll build a brand new masterpiece that will give you pleasure. You'll build a brand new masterpiece that will give you pleasure. That's the secret to living a happy life. I guess so, but there are so many more things, five-ish. That's what I'm here for, Avrami. Let's keep going. <laughs>